Okay, everybody, welcome back to the first ever fully documented P1 auto to M66 transmission conversion. Today, we are going to be talking about costs. Stick around. Okay, everybody, so in the segment that we're doing today, we wanted to talk about costs on the auto to M66 conversion. As we talked about in the overview, cost is a big factor in this conversion. Many people on the forum would simply say, go out, sell your car, and buy the M66 version or the M56 version if you're non-turbo. Um, but the thing is, as we talked about in the overview, the platform, the chassis that we have is every fully uh, integrated fueler option and we're already all wheel drive and simply we just we love this car so we are going to do the conversion the cost is going to be high we're going to talk about that but i think in the long run it's going to be worth it plus we're able to document the process and provide you and anybody else with the information that they need to do this as well Good night, come here come here Hurry, 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 hurry. Say hi. Hi. So that's a transmission. That's a transmission. Okay, so back to cost. Uh, what we did is we had to break down the cost, right? We need to see if it's feasible and we need to see what it's gonna cost on the top end. And like me and many other cheapskates out there, we want to see how far can we get it down without compromising safety, reliability, performance, drivability. So if you check out our parts video or if you check out the article, we made a master Excel spreadsheet that has every single Volvo part with the hyperlink to the Volvo parts web store with the part number cross reference, all of that jazz. And if you were to go and say, hey, Volvo, here is my parts list. I would like all of this and I will pick it up next week. What are they gonna charge you? Right now, 2021, our spreadsheet total in at about $10,580. Astronomical, right? Completely not worth it. But keep in mind, this would be similar for any other swap. Back in our Honda days, all of our guys that are doing the prelude swaps, auto to manual, you're not going to Honda, you're not going to the parts counter because the transmission alone is $4,500. Yes, it has zero miles, but the one at the junkyard maybe only has 60, 80, 100,000 miles for 150 bucks. And if it blows out, you can go pluck another one and you're still driving. So the top end was almost $11,000. That's everything brand new. Transmission brand new, clutch, flywheel, your pedal assemblies, um, your axles, your shifters, your gears, your linkages, cylinders, master cylinders, slave cylinders, all of these things. It, it's crazy. Of course it's not worth it, $11,000. Not only could you sell your car, take that $11,000 and just buy something way cooler, um, it, it's just a waste of money. Financially irresponsible. So then our next step was for us to get on board with it, we need to dial that cost down. How low can we get it and still use certain parts? So there's certain things that you're gonna reuse here, right? Essentially, the clutch pedal. You don't need to buy this new. You're gonna get it from a donor. It's metal and it's a pedal. The axles, you can buy them new for $600 from Volvo, but likely a donor or a junkyard axle with a rebuild is gonna be just as good and last you the life of your vehicle. The transmission, yeah, zero miles from Volvo would be awesome, but keep in mind these M66 have been documented to go for hundreds, hundreds, hundreds of thousands of miles. If you're picking one up in the low 100s, even the, the, the mid 100 thousands, it's probably gonna last the life of the vehicle. So why would you buy it new? Um, there's certain parts that you do have to buy new. Obviously, this clutch from the donor, I'm not gonna stick a used clutch in just like I'm not gonna stick used brake pads in, just like I'm not gonna wear your used underwear. Um, so certain parts you have to factor in new. Don't forget about fluids. Obviously, all of this is drained. We're gonna need new fluids. We need tranny fluid. 
we're probably going to be in brake fluid when we get over to um, pump up the lines and, and get everything in there. Um, the shifter, the shifter cables, the linkage. How many times have you heard anybody on the forums buying those new? It's pretty rare. So essentially that, you know, $2,000 worth of part from Volvo, you don't need your donor or your junkyard is going to have that for you for 30 to 100 bucks. Um, so what we worked it down to was, was almost a third of if you were to go buy all of this new from Volvo. The problem is there are certain parts, as mentioned, you are gonna wanna buy new. Uh, definitely the clutch and the flywheel. The clutch kit isn't too bad, but the flywheel is going to be an issue. We're gonna talk about that later in our parts uh, specific video, but the flywheels on these uh, that came with the stock P1s or the dual max, if you were to buy that from Volvo, you're talking it's like $1,100 right now. If you were to buy uh, aftermarket from FCP, uh, you're looking at about 600. We're gonna talk about it more, but we're actually gonna convert to a single mass flywheel, which is about the same price, 500. But unfortunately, we know these dual masses are not resurfaceable. And essentially, all the form chatter is, if it's out, put a new one in. Don't risk it, don't mess with it. Don't even look at it and think that it's good because the last thing you wanna do is go through all this, stick it in, and it blows up on you in 100 miles and you gotta rip it all off again. So, um, costs. That, the flywheel, let's say $500 there, the clutch kit, three to 400, depending on your engine code, that's gonna put you at just under a thousand with tax and shipping, right? That's non-negotiable, you need that. Um, the rest of everything else, let's assume you either get it at a junkyard or from a donor. In our situation, we had a donor car. The engine had blown, uh, rods were popping and locking, and we got it for 1600 bucks, right? Not too bad. We were able to get everything in one swoop, but keep in mind that 1600 bucks, we're still gonna put a thousand on flywheel, on clutch kit, we're still gonna rebuild axles, um, we are still gonna get probably some new uh, clutch lines and clutch hoses, we still have to buy all our fluids, all of this stuff. So even with that, we were able to make, at this point, about $1,000 back from the donor, right? So as soon as we pulled it in, we stripped what we needed, and then we stripped the rest of the car. There's parts all over this garage, one by one, taking pictures, eBay listings, and we've sold almost a 1,000, give or take, of that. So essentially, we're only $600 in to everything you see here. So it's brought our cost back down. So if you're going the donor route, that's definitely what you're gonna do. You're not gonna pull off what you need and trash the car. You're gonna get as much of that money back as possible. Before we had the donor, we started sourcing some of these parts of the junkyard. Uh, we had the shifter assembly, we got the wrong one, but we did get that, it was like 30 bucks. Um, the axles, they sell them for like $12. The transmission, $163. Um, so all of these parts, assuming you had to do junkyard, uh, but let me factor in the last thing that you're gonna need as well is aside from uh, all of those things that are mentioned, you need the software. There's only one person that offers this software that will even touch this conversion, Hilton Tuning. And right now, if you don't have a dice cable, you're gonna be looking at over $900 just for the software. This doesn't include software and a tune. This is just strictly the conversion. So in our situation, we have the Elevate Tune. We've had it almost since we bought the car. We love it but there's still questions on if the Elevate Tune is gonna load up on the Hilton Auto to M66 conversion. If it doesn't, we lose our tune, right? Which means we're gonna have to either A, buy a new tune, or we're gonna see if we can get the previous tune that we had to work. So factor that in. We're gonna report back on that and we'll know by the time you know this is done. But if the tune doesn't work, then essentially we've wasted a tune for a six speed, which is fine. That's part of the game. We'll have to get another tune later, but keep in mind at that point, um, are you gonna be able to get a new Elevate tune and throw a second bit onto your handheld for a reduced price? Or are you gonna want to go to Hilton and get one of their more custom tunes at you know another 800 to thousand dollars, maybe more? So that definitely factors in. So let's just wipe the tune out of there. And the prices I'm talking are getting that M66 functioning in this vehicle safely, reliable, okay for your wife to drive it, you know, to the supermarket. 
So with the software tune, definitely the required mandatory parts here, which would be a clutch the flywheel, and then axle rebuilds and, and pretty much anything else that you're gonna wanna swap out that you're not gonna wanna put in use, you know, the master cylinder, stuff like that. Uh, $3,3300 is about probably what we're looking at, right? So for our personal, the donor, $1,600 minus $1,000 we're giving back, we're at $600. Our IPD cart to replace our boots, our cylinders, um, our clutch lines, our fluids, our new crush washers, our new seals, all of that, clutch kit, all of that coming in at about $1,000, right? So we're at $1,600. Now we're talking the flywheel that we're gonna get from probably Viva Performance. We're gonna swap over S6, uh, S60R, um, single mass. So I think they're at 580, 590 right there. You're talking at close to $2,000. Throw in the software, there you go, $3,000. Assuming you don't run into something else as you're working that needs it. I mean, there's gonna be definitely some nickel and dimes all the way until we turn this thing on and get it going. Um, I was talking to Michael C. Halleck the other day. He said, don't forget the, the brake fluid. Okay, because yeah, you know, now we've got a clutch. We're gonna need some extra fluid. We may wanna drain that. We may wanna flush it since we're there. Don't forget some of the other components on the M66 that you're gonna wanna replace. Yeah, it's not serviceable, but there are certain things we can do to it before we put it in. So I'm guessing that even while this thing gets ripped apart here in the garage, I may be running to Volvo of Ontario to see what they have in terms of clips, brackets, maybe a bushing. If we get in there and I say, you know what? Um, you know, for example, oh, this mount, maybe I'm gonna wanna swap it out. There's another 30 bucks on the fly because it's better to just knock this stuff out than to put it in and now, well, it could have been better or A, it's gonna fail in a little while. So definitely we're gonna put Okay guys, sorry the battery died there, but what I was saying was you want to have some extra cash laying around because if you get into this and you're figuring, okay, I'm giving myself three days, six days, nine days, whatever it is, you're probably going to be at the Volvo dealer or you're going to be ordering a last minute this or that. So even our cost uh, that we listed is assuming that everything we have sitting here is going to go in and we're not going to run into an issue. And when's the last time you worked on something on your car and didn't run into an issue? So five, 600 bucks, have it laying around, have it ready to go. And you know, if all things go great, then you don't spend it. But again, all in over $3,000 is probably the lowest we can whittle this whole swap down to. Cycles back to the forum chatter. It's not worth it. It's cost too much money, but again, you cannot buy if you have a fully optioned uh, P1. You're not gonna find it. You're not gonna buy it. And if you do, you're gonna sacrifice something. So again, there is some give and take, but knowing that you are one of just a handful uh, that, that have completed this swap and done it uh, yourself, uh, when Volvo won't even touch it, Volvo doesn't even know that it's an option every time I call a dealer. They're like, what, what are you talking about? Um, you know, you, you got to factor that in as well. So again, Volvo, it's, it's a for life car and we plan on keeping this car around. And so that's why we're doing this. We're spending the money and we are documenting it for you. Again, uh, subscribe. We're going to be dropping a lot of different segments in this playlist and all of our socials are at Import Sauce. See you soon.